going to talk to you about cooking with infrared or microwave radiation. So here uh, we have an oven and inside it is a potato. Potato! And we're going to cook it. So we start off, we're going to use infrared radiation first. The radiation waves of infrared travel towards the potato and contact with the surface of the potato. And the infrared radiation heats the surface of the potato. So here is the surface, nice and hot on the surface, and that heat can transfer into the inside of the potato uh, by two mechanisms. Mechanism one is conduction. That's where molecules um, have a lot of kinetic energy because they've been heated and they pass that kinetic energy to molecules that are next to them. That is conduction and that is a mechanism transferring heat in solids. And in addition to that, water that is heated in the potato can form convection currents. So steam can travel throughout the potato and that is convection. So by conduction and convection the heat can eventually travel to the centre of the potato. It takes a little bit of time and so cooking a potato in a, a conventional oven with infrared radiation is quite slow. The alternative is to cook with um, microwave radiation. So we can have a little look about how that would work. Uh, so let's have a potato in a microwave and we'll have a little bit of um, uh, microwave radiation and so the microwaves will travel like the infrared waves to the potato and now microwaves are um, smaller waves so I'll try and draw smaller waves here and they will travel to the potato and they will penetrate into the potato to a depth of a couple of centimeters to there and the energy from the microwave will be absorbed by water molecules at a depth of a couple of centimetres into the potato all the way round uh, in all directions on the potato. Just like previously, that heat energy can be transferred through the potato by conduction, which is molecules contacting each other and passing on the heat directly, or convection, which is the water or steam moving throughout the potato in convection currents. The convection and conduction can go towards the middle or towards the surface. And because the microwaves have penetrated far into the potato, the time taken for that heat to dissipate to the other parts of the potato is less. So cooking a potato in a microwave is quicker waves. Uh, penetrate two or three centimeters into the potato and then the heat is transferred by conduction and convection. Uh, for infrared radiation the radiation only reaches the surface of the potato and the convection and conduction have to then go from the surface all the way to the center and therefore that takes more time. Okay, That's what you would need though if you were uh, answering the question about the differences between heating food with microwaves or infrared radiation.